Hey guys, uh, so today I wanted to talk to you about uh, memory problems. So I've been struggling with my memory for a good while. I would say, I would say since 2014, uh, around the time that I had chemotherapy, they put me on the strongest regime because of how nasty the cancer was. By stage two cancer of the pelvis. Um, and then to go through three months of chemo, which was brutal, to then get told the chemo didn't work, you've got to have surgery. I was like, Phew. like, <laughs> that would just destroy anybody. So, yeah, not great. Uh, and since then, really, my memory's just been fading. Um, like on a downhill um, journey. Um, I've tried cognitive sort of like uh, word searches, brain sort of training, stuff like that. And you would think that that helps, but the issue is uh, I did a word search last week, I think it was. Couldn't tell you any of the words. Couldn't tell you even the book that I did it in. <laughs> like... Yeah, I've um, got multiple apps on my phone, couldn't tell you what they're called. Like, it's just not good. Like, so uh, in 2021, I went to the doctors and I was like, listen, something just isn't right. Um, yeah, something just isn't right. And they logged it and they started doing tests, like blood tests, check your thyroid, check your vitamin levels, all that. All that was. All that came back fine. Um, I used to be really good at spelling. Now I go to write something and it's wrong. And I'm like, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I... Um, so I persisted and persisted and persisted. Told my oncologist, listen, like, I think it's, you know, I think it's still chemo brain. And they were like, you had chemotherapy in 2014 we're now in 2023 it's not chemo brain and i'm like okay so you've never had chemo but yeah they just didn't want it you know and maybe it isn't chemo brain i don't know but anyway so i i i said like you know you're gonna like you, you gotta help me like i just, you know it's it's ever since i had chemo that i'm brain just doesn't work the same. I know, and I know people that have had radiotherapy and chemotherapy and they, they've gone back to work and they've, you know, they're still not as sharp as they used to be, but they've still been able to go back to like teaching or being a scientist or, you know, something that requires your brain to work. And it's just like, my brain just, <laughs> my, I don't know what's happened to me, but like, I'm the anomaly. I can't even say that. I'm the anomaly, I think. Uh, yeah, so um, I. So eventually, my oncologist put in a referral to the Walton Centre for. And that's a memory clinic in Liverpool. Um, they got in touch with me, sent me a referral. I had cognitive test on couple of weeks ago um i scored a, i scored 16 on the mmse exam i have no idea what that means but anything above three is abnormal <laughs> so for me to score 16 i'm kind of like mm. um she asked me to remember like a bunch of words couldn't tell you i couldn't even tell her i was like what words <laughs> like um, I couldn't even draw, like, the cube thing. You have to draw, like, a... It's like a 3D cube. I've never drawn a cube, ever, I don't think. So, I couldn't... It didn't even look like a cube. It looked like a, like a jagged S, and I was like... Why, why you can't I... I don't get it. Like, um... So, yeah, um... So, she said, you have... Currently, moderate cognitive impairment... 
So it's not mild. And I, I kind of, I kind of knew it were mild because it doesn't feel mild. It feels quite, um, feels quite, you know, um, strong. Um, I can't even tell you what I did yesterday. It's like, yeah, like I'm thirty five. I can't tell you what I did yesterday. Can't even tell you what I did this morning. Two days ago, a week ago. It's just like, you know, and yeah, I can remember going to like. Uh, Florida with my mom and stuff like that but again I couldn't tell you what year it was I couldn't tell you like where we went specifically I can just tell you we went to Florida do you get what I mean so it's just not it's just not normal I it's just yeah anyway so I after the cognitive tests and I had blood tests and they were fine she said I'm gonna go speak to the consultant and I was like okay so then she came back and said, um, I'd like to do further tests then and also send you for an MRI on your head. I was like, okay. Uh, so that's on November 2nd. I am very, I'm a little bit on edge with it. Um, because I genuinely think it's dementia, personally. A gut feeling is telling me it's dementia. So, whether that's Alzheimer's or early onset or whatever, I don't know. But it, it's definitely something like that. I won't know until I've had the scan, which is in like two weeks' time. Um, I hope it's not Alzheimer's because, well, then you've got like a, a ticking time bomb. You've got like a clock on your life. I don't want a clock on my life. I want like... Just want to, you know, be able to live my life. But, <sighs> yeah, I haven't had much luck when it comes to health. Um, my body used to shut down. I used to faint at the sight of blood when I was, like, in, uh, when I was, like, a kid. Like, primary school, secondary school, having, like, injections and stuff. Like, the BCJ passed out on the floor. People get a paper cut. Pa pa Say, God, I don't speak. People would get, like, a paper cut. And I'd pass out on a floor, get too hot, my body would shut down, I would pass out. No idea why that happened. Squeamish, maybe? I don't know. But, um, anyway, so then to go through, I've beaten cancer twice, lost both of my parents, I had to put my dog down last year. I've transitioned on my own. I've just dealt with, like, a lot of trauma and stressful shit. And then now I'm dealing with osteoarthritis in both knees and I'm also dealing with like probably Alzheimer's and it's just like uh, it's just you know people always say I'm resilient but I feel like I feel like a patchwork quilt or like a, a teddy bear that's got like missing an eye you know it's been like sewn back together like multiple times that's how I feel um you know, and that saying, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. My God, I feel like the Incredible Hulk then. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I, I genuinely feel like a dementia diagnosis, like an official diagnosis would just floor me, to be honest. I, I genuinely don't. I want to know what's going on, but at the same time, I'm a bit like, I don't know if I could like handle that. So how we will say, um, I will obviously do a vlog. I'll let you know how I'm getting on. 